This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, February the 8th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Let's uh, remind you that we'll be at uh, Winfield this coming Tuesday, February the 10th, from 4 to 6.30 p.m. at the Winfield City Hall. And then on Thursday, we'll be at the Reform, uh, the City of Reform at the library. So be sure to come out. Remember, that's from 4 to 6.30 p.m. each Tuesday and Thursday. All right, the surface map. We still have high pressure that has moved off into the Atlantic, and uh, it gave us a beautiful day yesterday, but we're developing a cold front out to our west that will be moving through relatively quickly on Monday. In the upper atmosphere, we have a fast-moving trough uh, in the flow. Uh, we had ridging yesterday, but now that uh, ridging is being replaced by a fast-moving trough that's going to help to set up a long-wave trough position over the eastern third of the country. We're starting the day out a bit warmer than we were yesterday. Temperatures uh, generally in the 40s, a little cooler in the east part of the state where the clouds have been slower to come in, and uh, they're uh, in the, uh, with readings in the 30s. And it looks like uh, this weather system is going to produce a good deal of problems for the northern tier of the United States across the Great Lakes and into New England with uh, all of those uh, pink and purplish values representing winter storm advisories, watches, and or warnings. QPF-wise, we're not looking at a great deal of rain over the next five days. As a matter of fact, now it looks like probably the only rain will come uh, late tonight and into Monday, and probably on the order of a, t a quarter of an inch or less for most of us, but we probably will see a little bit of, uh, almost everybody is going to see a little bit of rain, but uh, the showers uh, that come through are not going to come through uh, slowly. They're going to come through quickly, and that will uh, drop only small amounts of precipitation. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center is not lo out looking any severe weather. They have a marginal risk on the West Coast for day one. Day two, there's no organized severe thunderstorms forecast. And on day three, there's no thunderstorms forecast. So that's pretty good. All right, let's get to the 06 GFS model run. And there's the upper air pattern for today at midday at noon. And we see that trough coming through Missouri. And that trough bringing uh, surface low uh, over the um, Ohio area with a cold front trailing back into north central Texas. That uh, trough digs in and moves by us uh, by midday on Monday. So that should bring uh, us some rain chances. Uh, but I think for the f it's only for the first half of Monday. I think by noontime we should be drying out. But the clouds are likely to stick around as we cool off quite a bit. That trough moves out into the Atlantic. And we come under weak ridging for Tuesday. So uh, that brings in the surface high pressure and uh Certainly not anything uh, just especially real cold. You can see the 540 thickness line up into southern Ohio. But we do see the, the pattern changing a little more. We get out to Wednesday at midday, and we see that we have a very strong shortwave trough coming into the north-central United States, and that trough is going to dig down into the eastern third of the country. So that's going to bring us another cold front on Thursday, but this one looks like it'll come through our area dry, but notice the 540 thickness line down into the Tennessee River Valley. So it's going to be a cold uh, weekend for us. Friday, we see the upper air pattern showing that uh, we have a long wave trough position generally uh, along and just to the east of the U.S. East Coast. And so that keeps us pretty chilly with a 540 thickness line all the way down into the Birmingham area. We uh, will uh, not see much in the way of a warm-up on Saturday. You can see that long-wave trough position is there, and then we're getting additional reinforcements of other uh, short waves moving through the flow. We see the same sort of thing on Sunday. We've got a pretty strong short wave moving across the Atlantic, but we also have little short wave disturbances that are in the flow over the western Great Lakes. So that keeps us in a relatively cold pattern through the weekend. Looking out into voodoo country, we're still uh, dealing with some mischief around the 18th or 19th. You can see that the uh, GFS is still showing that the long wave trough position is over the eastern third of the country. So that's keeping us in a bit of a cold pattern. And we have a nice strong short wave moving through the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys. And that could spell some winter mischief for someone in the southeastern U.S. Now, whether that's for central Alabama or not, it's too early to tell for sure. 
but certainly it looks like it could spell some winter mischief for someone in the southeastern U.S. And then uh, the GFS showing a bit of a change. We still have a long wave trough and a cold look. However, the long wave trough position has retrograded or moved a little west by the time we get out to uh, Monday, the 23rd of February. So it uh, looks like uh, still a bit of a coolish pattern, although this not quite as cold as having the trough along the East Coast. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this edition. James Spann will be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, don't forget to check back with the blog for the latest updates on what's going on in central Alabama's weather.